30% approximately of all tasks are performed by machines. How they have specifically changed the use of technology over the last two years to be able to handle these disruptions and how you plan to use technology in the coming, say, year or two, not just to handle the current problems, but to also create new and better opportunities for your customers going forward. Um, so let me talk about technology first. Everybody's saying in the future, but if you look already now, 30% uh, approximately of all tasks are performed by machines. I'm not saying necessarily the robots that are moving things, but automatic robotic processes. Right? And the, the forecast that by 2025, it's just a couple of years ahead of us, half of the tasks in the logistics industry will be done by machines. So it's not the future, it is, it is already now. Um, but if we look into the future, there is definite acceleration. Right? And, and pandemic was one of the reasons we see that acceleration of use of, of technology and automation in logistics industry for simple reasons, right? Uh, one of them, the unprecedented volumes. Right? The panelists before us talked a lot, right? That we were moving the amount of goods that we moved, we haven't seen it ever before. Right? And it coupled with unavailability of the workforce. I think here we are quite lucky so we didn't feel that shortage of workforce as much. But if you look at other regions, right, America's warehousing, Amazon is paying for warehousing employees more than they will ever been paying, right? And we are competing for the blue collar workers across the globe. Shortage of drivers in UK, right? That was also mentioned that just Christmas trees are still stalled, right? There. So this combined, right? with greater volumes, the unavailability of, of, of people, uh, then technology is getting cheaper, right? That's also one of the key drivers why it's accelerating now in logistics. The industrial robots were there before, right? But they were just way too expensive for the logistics tasks, right? It was always cheaper to hire people. They're getting also smarter, right? So with all the advancements in AI, in computer processing power, and Right, uh, all of that together, right? It's not just one thing, is driving the, the automation of our industry. Um, I'm sure we're gonna talk about what, what is next, right? But in general, if, if, we, if I look into the future, right? I don't have a crystal ball. If I would have one, probably I would not be here. <laughs> um, but we definitely believe that it, the logistics would be much more automated, much more data-driven, much more connected with the help of IoT, right? Uh, empowering that visibility, but also much more sustainable. And the technology has to play a role in sustainability as well. And much more customer centric, which also doesn't happen without the enablement of technology. Um, so that's our DHL view. And uh, you mentioned the Innovation Center. I'll have to take the, the opportunity to talk about it as well. So we did open a DHL Innovation Center here in Middle East uh, just four and a half months ago. It's our fourth Innovation Center uh, across the globe. And our job is really to do that forward looking, uh, but as well as hands-on projects. So I'm happy to say, for example, Fadi, right? We've been talking already what we can do together. We're working with our customers alike, <laughs> with Simmons, um, and hope to see you over with, with your teams, where we really discuss how we can make our supply chains future ready, uh, very much driven by the customer need to be future ready as well. So that's my few cents for now.